we go. Erica. Okay, well, what made you decide to get into chickens? Well, Jackie, I saw there was a need for chickens. <laughs> what? That was it? That was that was the extent of your uh, farming, why you want to get to do with this? Well, Jackie, I have four children and we like eggs. <laughs> I thought it would be I thought it would be I thought it'd be a little more detailed. Okay, why do you want to raise chickens? Because they're very fun to play with and I really want to collect eggs. Cool. Still, still the same answer? Well, Jackie, it's getting expensive as you know what out here. How do you feel about chickens? I just can't wait to eat them. Uh, you're going to be put to work and that, that means a lot of scooping of chicken poop. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at it. Yo. What's going on my plant people? I'm the ADHD gardener where I use gardening, houseplants, and humor as a form of mental health therapy. And I'm at my sister's property. <laughs> She's in the background right there. And what we have right here that my dad built, which I'm going to show you all about, is called a chickshaw, aka a chicken tractor. And all <laughs> yeah, that's for all of them. I'm gonna name all my hens Puerto Rican names. Oh, wow. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. <laughs> Why don't you start from down and then you go, you can find her on Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> so what is the plan that you're doing here? All right, well, as we know, we have a sister, your sister, yes. getting into uh, poultry. Farming. <clears throat> Farming. Chickens. Homesteading. So, uh, yes. Homesteading and all that. So chickens is a must in a homestead. It so is. So we was looking at the um, chicken coops. They're very expensive. People yes. wanted like $2,000 to build a small chicken coop. True that. So since she wants laying hens and also meat birds, I said, wow, what can I do about that? And of course we're on a budget. Oh man, gardening on a budget. On I a tell budget. you, as you can see here, look, look, look what my neighbor threw away. Now, can you believe that? That's a good find. That's wheels for the tractor, for the tractor. chicken tractor. Yeah, there you go. That's a quick sketch. That's my rough sketch. Okay? I'm working on my sketches. Yeah, see, so it's four foot for this one side, four foot for the other. Nesting. I don't know if you'd rather go inside to see that. Anyway, this uh, door, this is my divider, right? Uh, I'm gonna vent it around here, around the side. There's gonna be some venting here and there. The doors, I can still move back and forth. Yeah. And so the main thing is gonna be reinforcing the base. And um, we'll see how that progresses. Price of wood is just as expensive. It is. Very expensive, so. Solution is? My solution is metal framing. I start looking at some videos, so they're very light. Look at this, look at this. This thing doesn't weigh like not even five pounds. But anyway, as far as pricing, the studs were about eight dollars and some change. Let's say eight fifty for the studs. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you've seen any any videos of metal framing basements and things like that, yeah. Okay, that's what they use. They can use that. It's just and it doesn't burn, doesn't rush. Even I can yeah. lift it. Yes. All right. Ah. So this is a stud, and okay. this is a channel. Okay, I'll show you a channel. All right. How much were those? Now the channel comes in 10 feet and they're like $13, but <clears throat> it's lighter though. So what we're going to do is I want to put meat birds on one side, laying hands on this side with the, um, the buckets here for the, uh, the milk crates or whatever. Yeah. You're making it wider then I'm so you can fit eight feet long. This way I can put the like 20 or 15 meat birds on this side, maybe only six eight laying hens on this side yeah for them and the eight birds would be all right with the hens right. oh yeah and then i'm gonna put a partition here when i build it what's a partition uh something to divide the meat bird from the oh laying hen. that could be just like a wire a couple of necessary tools all right you're gonna explain the, that okay the screws are like they call them wafer heads and they're self-tapping self-tapping they'll go right through what's self-tapping oh self-drilling have this all right you must have what's this. that called oh duh clamp like a little clamp. metal clamp all yeah. right for framing you can see you do that then you know get your lines put a screw in there okay there you go now here and that's just a metal cutter 
Yes, I bought nips, which I might return. Snips. Yeah. Let's see if it'll work on this. See how easy that cuts? Okay. Oh, that was easy. Yes. Now, that's what look, I did. It looks so old and it works so well. No, look. Uh-huh, it does. See? You can turn it back. Oh! So you can turn a corner. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn. That's right? smart. Yeah. Now here, with the, now this is the 2x4. Notice it's different from the uh, track. The track. This is meant to go inside. It has, it has a lip. Yeah, this, this is meant to go in here. Look, see? Yeah, let me show you on this side where we turn the corner. We got a smooth look. You got a smooth end on it. See it? How did we do that? Let's say this was the track. Okay? You can also turn this inward. Okay? Not now because this is the... This is the... Oh, you can probably still do it. Oh, yeah. See it? Oh! That's what I did here but with the track. So I have a smooth end. Oh, okay. We're going to need more rigidity. Okay, so you tell me the regular ones without the lip is just the solely channel. the frame. The channels go on the outside. So this, this. Beauty. And then everything on the inside the are studs. those are the studs. Just Got this it. Is like, oh. How are we gonna attach this wheel? I don't know. When this is hollow, see? Don't you have to put a, like an added piece of framing or something well, so the wheel right can here. attach to it? I took a piece of Oh, you Done. close this area. Watch this. If you take this, you can literally put it in there. Oh, oh and that? then you're going to drill it into this. Yeah. Hey. Oops, watch. No, then I put screws, and later I'm going to put screws on the bottom. Mm. I'm going to drill my bolt through there. Okay. And put the wheels on and it. Put the wheel in there, of course. Use washers, whatever you need to do. Today I'm going to check the inner tubes. Uh -huh. I'm put air in them. One by one inch square. The ones that uh, I was gonna use for the, now the ones for the rabbit cages was a uh, waxed, whatever you call it, a rubber, not. Yeah, I know. One so by it's... one square, but they had the coating. Like the rubber coating, I have that. But for chickens, chickens got tough feet. And they're not gonna be around that long. <laughs> oh, true. <laughs> okay. Well, that looks easy. Ah, it's so easy, look. I went down to my local hardware store. They got everything in there. Block away. Okay. Put a washer in there, a washer in here. Why would you have to put a washer here? Always, extra washers is always good. You know, so it's not rubbing up against the metal. The metal bends a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then, look at that, was that a perfect fit? And of course, you get one that you have. Do a those lot. screws come longer? Uh, yes, they come different sizes. I believe this one is like a uh, six inch, six and a half. Ready? Hey! So, all right, let me take Yes, I, I needed to find something that would differentiate our chicken tractor thingy versus all the ones that are already in existence. Well, and I, haven't this, I haven't reviewed them all, but I've well, been not all thinking of them, about but. weight. Everybody kept focusing on weight. So I said, well, let's try something lighter. Hey now, okay. Yeah, we'll frame the opening. Okay. The door, we're gonna make the door opening just to fit the automatic door opener for in the future. You want right. to add that to it. Okay? True, that. And there you go. Uh, now we'll use the uh, studs here, two foot studs. Boom. So that's later. That's what we're gonna do. Okay. okay. All right, then you have a hammer around, so you might want to tap it a little bit. You know, get your nice, the, we don't worry about the bottom. Just worry about one at a time, okay? Get your fingers out of the way. Don't come too far in here, come right, like right here. Get your fingers out of the way. Notice the drill speed. That's Very quick. slow. Well, like in quick burst. Yeah. You know, I just found it buried in the snow. Look at that. All right, so those are going to be your nesting boxes. That's going to be my nesting boxes. I'm working on that today. Ah, okay. okay. So then that well, is just so you can be able to, you know, nail that or screw that well, in place. we're going to work on it. And these are for them to perch. I found some stakes that I had laying around. Yesterday also I did. Look, if you look in here, I ripped down a 2 by 3 pressure treated, right? And, oh, I, look at that. I fastened that oh, in there. Oh, okay. Screw that in there. I can send you a little short video I made on that. Yeah. Well, it's just, you ratchet it real tight. 
Oh, now oh, okay. I got a lot of support now, see that? There's oh, no, all right. No wobbling, no wobbling around. That's not bad. And now, before, remember how loose it was just the... It is. Maybe yeah, maybe. because now you, oh, you've you made a bunch of those. I put some corner braces on the bottom one. I ripped some uh, two by threes. Well, two by fours, but I ripped them down. Oh, yeah, that helped. Two by three. Put it in the corner. And um, today, All right. I'm going to be putting, filling in some of these cavities here. What are you going to use? I'm going to, well, today I have to put wire. Hopefully, oh, so you're using the wire. Through, when I put wire around it, okay. I want to be able to have, excuse me, some some of these look like inside here some wood inside here to give to, to give the uh the wire somewhere to hold on to well when i put the wire in and i yeah. screw it i wanted to glue oh it okay meat behind it okay hmm how are you gonna put those uh milk crates well this is Nest part of the fun of doing this you know you're out here look at the sunshine you, you know you you uh, finagle it yeah, I gotta go study. You finagle it. You, you finagle. <laughs> so, we are here another day, and these are just, I'm assuming, for braces. Oh, you did add pieces of wood in between here, so you yeah. can hold on to this piece of wood. Well, this, the, these inside braces is going to be mostly for when I do the wire. Okay. When I do the wire, it's going to be able to, this won't be wobbling around when I put the screws in. You know what I mean? All right, so why did you put these on? For these, more bracing? Oh, remember on the last segment? Yeah. Uh, it was wobbling all over the place? Yes. Now it doesn't wobble. So you have to put a, a brace all the way around. Of course, I use whatever I had. Yeah, I had ground stakes. Yeah, gardening on the budget, uh, I tell you. Look, I had oh, wow. Okay. Perchers or ground stakes. <laughs> whatever I find. This, you know, as it was getting heavier, my concern always came back to this because this is lightweight metal. Now, you see how I put this inside here? So I added. You did. You added this. Yes, I ripped down top. a two by four and I slid it in there because that's only two and a quarter inches. Now, what I would have done different would have been this inside of this. You notice how it's hollow? Yeah. When I put the screws in. Now, these are, these are uh, two, what do you call them? Two uh, caps. Two caps put together. Okay. That's what these are one on top of the other you know like like this cap here like this cap here and this one yeah okay? you, you combine you put, them you put them together like a sandwich yep but i should have put one it makes, of these yeah because it makes a hollow on the inside yeah this is actually hollow in it i should have put this inside, inside of, of that, that and then still did this okay? okay now why'd you put this on well since i didn't put that inside you know i needed more as the weight picked up, I needed yeah. a little more rigidity. So I added this inside of this. I ripped it down. And I, I think it's going to be good. It's going it's to be good. So I also backed this up, you know. So this is um half inch. What What's half inch? The, the, the screw the, itself? Yes, this big bolt is half inch by like, I don't know, seven inches or something like that. Because um, remember, one of my wheels has the uh, chain sprocket. So I had to make it longer. No, you're right. Other than that, so... Oh, and this? This worked out. You made this little uh, well, step this thing. Yes, this to support it. All right. So anyway. This. So I added a little purchase so they can jump. Right? And, and go inside the... Uh, I doubt that they'll be able to perch here because their big butts are probably going to well, you know, You know what I was thinking? That? Like, they technically have to hop up and get here oh, yeah, but if the fence like if the top is right here do you think they have much space to kind of hop up well all the other chick shows are built this way but you know on mine on my coop i made like a little ladder oh and, and i might still do that that's not a bad idea i spend it about halfway with a two by four going going across and they jump and to there and then to there but, yeah that's not bad i know but i was trying to give them a little extra roosting space underneath so that's why i didn't want to drop this any lower so you got a roof and all you did was just put this on top like that was it you didn't put anything underneath it of course i did metals oh okay so you give it like a little top frame the wood one i use seems to be the same height as this see oh, okay so it rests right on it yeah and you just put that oh that's light or a like wind or oh, rain this side is going to be closed off so i don't need venting on that side but if you hold up it's still early 
It's the earth. With the sharp Yo, edges. this looks good. Touch the sharp edges if you yeah. Oh, okay, and this is the back. Yes, I'm gonna put a little uh, Where wire you have... mesh here for now because it's summertime now. It I'm is. I'm gonna put some wire mesh here, something to hold the uh, baskets in, so no critter pulls them out. Let's do this. Okay. Now. That's cool, man. Yeah. Keep this thing from rolling for me, please. And while I drive in, a couple of additional screws. Additional weight up front. It's pretty balanced. It's pretty balanced. Yo, yo, I like that. I still don't have to like this wood, scrap wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't got no wear. I have to put the little pieces here, right? And then I might add a two by four. Yo, I love that idea. Okay. Bruh, I, might, I like it. I might add something here to cause it to, you know. Right. So it's not that pitch. Maybe I could put something like this. Look, see? So I can jump from here to here, here to here. Yeah. You know what I mean? But um, it's kind of steep. Wow. Do you have that on the other side too? Uh, let's take a look. <gasps> oh, I like that. Yo, that's smart. Look at that. This made it easier with it the with the wheels the, you know and what? that. It was important that those wheels um, be set back a little bit from center. Because in the back, I have the wood. The perching wood, the back. Yeah, and there's is, more weight back there. It's, it's, I would say another 10 to 15% additional weight in the back. Maybe 10%. So, I rolled the wheels back maybe about 8, 10 inches. So, that was a very good Damn, way. that's smart. I like, okay, well, uh, it's not because I thought about it. Um, Justin Rose had that when in his first chariot that he made. The wheels was too far back. So uh, it, it had good mobility, but the weight was not counting. Weight levers, distribution, counting yeah. Levers. See, so this by him rolling on the on the Chickshaw 2.0, he rolled the wheels forward. All right, we're on a new day. What's going on? Well, I found, of course, something here. Never throw it away. It looked like a big T, like an iron. T it bar. does. It just so happens to look like a great piece of metal. Yes, I spanned it all the way across to fortify it. Okay, but where did you get it? Well, where did you get it? Flea where market? Did I get it? Oh, you already <laughs> had it? I had it late now. I knew it was there. It's just waiting for it to be used someday. See, I always, <laughs> see I, that's why you never throw anything away. What about this and one? that just gave it brace. It looks like it's a freaking chassis or something. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, all the way across. Wow. Yo, are you kidding me? <laughs> you just so happen to have the same size? Uh, it's just laying there. Damn. It's like a T. It's like a, a big, uh, heavy iron T bar. Do you have one on the other of side? that has more weight. Ah, uh, yeah, it does. does. Yes, I have one on the other side. Could have. Look. You had two pieces, it just so yes, happens? Yes, I've, I've had that. Look at look, look at the, uh, for the, uh, for the three, it's a three person chick show. They don't even, they don't even have to, like, move it far at all. Well, just maybe eight feet. Well, yeah, but a little bit at a time. Yeah, but this is good here. This is what I like here because this strengthens this even more and now each kid can pick up one side if the mother pushes along. <laughs> <laughs> Erica in the front. <laughs> and this came out good. So that's it. That is good. Well, what I always say we did, we got a... Uh, over uh, something I said ambitious? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Over ambitious. Just a little bit. Baby's not looking good. Actually what it means is a good Okay, hold on. No. If I pull it on this end right here. I mean it's pretty much here, look at it. It's pretty much no, lined up. See it, but I'm able to pull it up here. Maybe so, we'll uh, drill him. Come with a hot beverage. So what do you think about the whole chicken shop thing? Where it doesn't slide. Forward. What do you think about your new little chicken tractor? I have, <laughs> I legit have only cared for one fish ever in my life. So, and yeah, and now you decided to go gung-ho with chickens. That is correct. <laughs> it's okay, it's fun. You like it? It's gonna come to that. We're gonna need it to survive. Yeah, because uh, it's the bullshit that's going on right now.
Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> Look at it! Yo! Is that cool? Bell. <laughs> <laughs> Once you start from down, and then you go, you can find her on Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> 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 <laughs>